Adrenaline OD at, uh, at CB's. Or it might have been Dead Kennedy's at the Ritz, but uh, the, the CB's one sticks in my mind pretty heavily. Alexa, she was amazing. She just transcended, she just kind of floated on top of the pit and she was just magical. It's Alexa Poli? Yeah, Alexa Poli. She's wow. just an art, I mean, magic. She's like Joan of Arc on top of the, uh, the ramparts. She's amazing. Uh, CBs, I mean, probably everyone's answering that way. Uh, it got kind of crappy towards the end as it got kind of wrapped up in its, in its own branding. But, uh, you know, when it's, when it's gone, it's, it was very sad because it's just such a cool place for New York. And, you know, what, I'm sure everyone said, the sound system so good. It was. And it was a cool vibe. Hardcore scene is full of hilarious dudes. Some of them are hilarious on stage, some of them off. I find Craig hilarious. Uh, who's funny? Sam is funny. Uh, Ray Capo is hilarious. They're all, there's so many, it's full of so many different weird guys and, and women, it's, it's, it's hard to say. But I guess on stage, Jimmy's gonna win. Jimmy's the, the ultimate entertainer, I think. First time I saw AF at CB's uh, was kind of, was amazing. And the, the flyer, which I referenced, was talking about before, was Jesus Christ getting uh, chainsawed in half and his innards were coming out on the cross. And I got the flyer at the Dead Kennedy show. I was like, I'm going to this show. And, uh, it was incredible. I mean, I was in, in the pit and it just felt um, like there was a, a certain percentage chance that I would die in there. And that was exciting. No, but I've spent a lot of time in squats. Uh, I've never lived at one, but I've slept in many. And we're right now doing this interview. Yes, right here at Sea Squat, although this is my first time here. We are interviewing in Squad. Yeah, it feels good. I feel right at home. I wish that I had been able to see Lee Wei and Bad Brains at 1018. I don't know, that just pops into my mind. I remember thinking like, I wish I had gone to that show. Everyone said it was great, but I, you know. And Living Color was on that bill. Living Color was on the bill too. Maybe that's what made it cool, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up touring with Quicksand, toured with Living Color years later, so I got my fill of those dudes, so that was cool. Wow. But, um, but I don't know, Leeway at that time were in their super prime, and Bad Brains were still just ripping it, and uh, yeah, Living Color weren't Living Color yet, but that, I, I guess I heard people talking about that. I'm sure there's others, but that one came to mind. Armand from Sick of It All, love him. Mackie. And uh, I mean, Mackie's kind of like Seabees. Everyone's going, you got to say Mackie. But Armand's just so good. And then between Luke and Sam, those are my guys. Uh, I wish I could split them in two. They're both excellent uh, in their own rights and uh, draw a lot from Mackie, I think, in their own ways. And uh, they're kind of different riffs off of those I ideas. In the hardcore world, um, I like Piss Jeans. Um, who else? Uh, kind of, in, I like, I don't know if they would be considered hardcore, but Fucked Up are good. Um, I'm hearing good things about Touche Mori. I haven't seen them or heard them yet, but I'm hearing good things about them. Uh, thinking of some other ones. I don't know, I kind of dip in and out of, uh, of the genre. You know, some things will kind of get up on my radar. Uh, title Fight kind of hit me to a lot of stuff, um, who are kind of inspired by a lot of this youth crew stuff. Hardcore will never die. I mean, it's a cliche, but it's got too good of a name 
like hardcore is just so powerful. Like you listen to all your different kinds of music and then there's, you know, you think you're onto the cool thing and then you see some sketchy dude by the bathroom going like, hey kid, I got what you really want. Another thing about it is that it, it sounds threatening. It sounds like the ultimate thing and when you actually listen to it, it sounds so terrible. Like I think to a normal person. Like one of the things I loved about hardcore is when I played on my box, my uh, you know boom box at that time, it just sounded like noise to people. Like if you weren't familiar with it and so you'd have to dig deeper to start to hear the, 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 the art and the beauty in it. You know, it's the same reason I liked My Bloody Valentine when I first heard it. It just sounded like a wash of noise and then you dig deeper and you find the pieces in it and I think uh, that's another very appealing aspect to it. Thank you.